So you're going to need your small SD card, a laptop or personal computer, a memory card reader and the internet. The first thing you're going to need to do is download Etcher. Go through to the website and click on the big green download button. Don't forget to choose the right download for your operating system. Once the download's finished, simply install it. Once it's finished installing, close the program and we'll come back to it later. What we're going to do now is go to the Cano.me homepage. Once you're there, scroll down to the Downloads link at the bottom and click the Download button. Downloading the OS might take a few minutes, so let's skip forward. As soon as it's finished downloading, open up the file. You're going to need to extract or unzip it depending on your operating system. This might take a few minutes, so let's skip forward. Next, take your small memory card and put it into the memory card adapter you got from Kano. After that, put it into the memory card reader. Now we're going to open up Etcher. Find the program on your desktop and open it. When you open Etcher, you're going to need to select the right file. Click the Select Image button, go to Downloads, and click on the file you just extracted or unzipped from the Kano download. Next, you're going to need to choose your memory card. The computer should choose it for you, but if you need to change it or choose your own, look for the one that's 7.9 gigs. Finally, click Flash. This might take a while, so let's skip forward. As soon as it says Flash Complete, you're ready to go. Well done, you just flashed your SD card. All you need to do now is take it out of the adapter, put it back in your Kano, and keep playing. When you turn your Kano on for the first time, you'll need to go through onboarding again. But don't worry, nothing has been lost. Simply load up your profile and you're good to go.